let's proceed now the next question was to find the total signal power pt which we have already done we have got the value of pt as 11.8 watts we have to now find vt which is the rms voltage of the signal now please understand that the power formulas are derived with the help of the amplitude of the signal for example pc can be written as v rms square now when i say v rms it will be v rms of the carrier signal so v rms carrier square upon r the resistance uh, under consideration i can take it as rl as per our current notation if rl is equal to 1 then uh, pc will simply be equal to v rms square uh, and we all know that uh, rms value is nothing but peak value divided by root 2 so vc by root 2 square will be my carrier power therefore pc will be nothing but vc square by 2 so this is the expression we have already written before but this expression is derived only when rl is 1 so in case rl is not 1 then how uh, the carrier power gets affected in that case carrier power will be nothing but vc square by 2 remains because that's vrms square uh, we have to just consider rl in the denominator so similarly i can write the total power expression also the total power pt will be vrms signal this time we are saying signal square divided by rl the question says find vrms uh, of the signal so vrms signal will be nothing but pt into rl and because there's a square here we'll have to take square root on right hand side so uh, the total power is what we consider because we have to find rms value of the signal uh, and not of the carrier signal or upper or lower sideband signal so total power we have got as 11.8 and rl value was given in the question as uh, 50 ohms so 11.8 into 50 and if i take the square root uh, i will get rms voltage of 24.29 volts so that's the uh, RMS voltage of the signal. Suppose if the peak voltage of the signal was asked, then uh, we would have used the formula of PT as, uh, as per our notation, we had also called it uh, VT, but let me make sure that this VT is VRMS because uh, we have found the RMS value and not the peak value. So in case if the question was to find uh, signal power, but peak, peak value of the signal power, uh, in that case, uh, we will define the total power by replacing the rms value which is which is the total or the peak value square divided by 2 into rl and uh, once again uh, if rl is equal to let's say if rl is 1 if rl is not given in that case the total power uh, will simply be equal to vt square obviously the peak value divided by